Anchor with Attitude was helped thanklessly by tape librarians Randy and Jason. The show was slated to go all the way, but moments into the first show, tragedy struck. With Ron on the DL, somebody needed to step up, like Gehrig for Pip or Brady for Bledsoe. Sitting two and three on the hosting depth chart, that someone was Randy and Jason. That is their story. And this is Cheap Seats without Ron Parker. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Cheap Seats, the show that attempts to cross all television genres. Today, we'll trade spaces with the Iron Chef, give his breakfast nook an extreme makeover, then vote him out of his own kitchen for being the mole. But first, we're going to check out a sport that combines the pageantry and drama of the 18th Green at Augusta with the awkwardness of a Nerve.com first date. That's right, it's miniature golf, people, and we've got the balls to prove it. Now, before we take you out to the 1996 Putt-Putt Championship from Orlando, Florida, here's what you're gonna wanna look for. Here's what to look for. Here's what to look for. You're gonna wanna watch for how much announcers Jay Johnstone and Judy Ward talk about Putt-Putt strategy. What kind of strategy do you need? It's a freaking hole-in-one contest. You gotta be aggressive and always go for the hole. It's not like players are laying up and playing for a birdie. So with that, we take you now to Orlando, Florida for a little putt-on-putt -putt action. You know, Putt-Putt has been around since 1959, hosting millions of families for fun on their 300-plus golf White courses. stripes. Oh. I'm gonna putt it off. Seven Nation Army cutting home and back. And welcome to the 1996 Putt-Putt Golf Championship. Today, you're gonna see three of the best putters in the world compete for $109,000. Wait a minute. $109,000? How'd they arrive at that figure? The action is a former putt-putt champion in her own right, a lady who won the 1989 Commissioner's Cup in Augusta, Georgia. Judy Wait, this Warren. is 1996. Yeah. Couldn't they get the, the guy who won the 1995 Commissioner's Cup? holes, $500 per hole, two tie, all tie, and two tie all one of the players could win $100,000 if he aces all 18 holes. It'd probably be easier to find Osama sleeping on hole 14 than to win that prize. Let's see who those contestants are. Let's. And Mike Brown from Lifetime Florida. stroke average of 29. I'm no doctor, but he seems really young to have had that many strokes. From Lawrenceville, Georgia. 19 G's, that's retirement money. Bob Hazlip with a lifetime Eight grand. Of Maybe they should have left the career winnings thing off the graphic. Or just lied. 1989 champion. A lot of championships in between. I'll just different interview the guy furthest from me. Well, it's, uh, it's a different game, but I'm going to try to make as many aces as I can and play as well as I possibly can. Bob, you got a great Is it me, or does Jay look like Gary Busey in Greg Norman's oh, hat? Yes. Uh, I like to like to see the ball go in the hole, and my friend says I got a horseshoe in my back pocket. My friend also says the government controls us through Starbucks. Today, uh, match play. I beat two excellent players. Some of the Mustn't best ever the look at Let's Straw Hat. The Mike, the 1996 national champion. Exciting part, but like I said, it's a different ball game today. Right. That was the biggest win of my career so far. Wow, he actually that's considers putt putt his career. Well, working at Kinko's, that's just his hobby. The best putters you'll ever see. Moving on. This match Fast start. forward. <laughs> After another carryover on the second That's hole. a hole in the Putt-Putt Championship? Where the hell's the castle with the doors opening up? He's thinking he needs to be aggressive. Looks go like someone's ace. smuggling in a couple of Titleists. Hey-o. To go ahead and make the first ace. Nice, strong, firm putt. Oh, oh banana hammock did him in. Up now I would have made him putt that out. Mike, a very aggressive young putter. Nice crowd today, Judy. Big turnout. Beautiful Big day. turnout? There are nine people here. Yeah, six of them are waiting to play through, and three of them just took a dip in the water hazard on 11. He's going for a second ace of the day. Oh, and gets it. Nailed it. You don't earn a career total of 25000 by not sinking aces, sucker. Wait, freeze it. Is that co-announcer Judy Ward? Yeah, how can she be calling this match if she's standing on the course holding an umbrella without a microphone anywhere near her? Brown aces it, and now Hazlip has to ace it to carry over. Bob is playing a little bit different shot on this one as we watched him practice during the week. He's playing it straight. With those incredibly awkward practice swings, I'm sure he'll be right on the money with this putt. Come on already. It's putt-putt hole three, not 17 at Pebble Beach. 
He's lift. Misses this. He's got $1,500. It's a good putt. Yep, wild practice makes almost Mike's perfect. The first player on the Up board, top, dog! That's gotta Someone's be a big still wearing his high school ring at age 42. First three holes. Mike, after the first three holes, you picked up a $1,500 carryover. Looks like the first two hole jitters are gone. Yeah, but the loud, ugly shirt jitters remain. Hey, Tiger Woods' mom. And, and there's three, Judy three, Ward three, lurking three, in the background. It's like some sick game. Where's Wardo? Years old. I heard a strange story. I heard that you were a member of my fan club with the Philadelphia Phillies. Is this true or not? Yeah, this is true. Remember uh, coming to see you on camera day? You know, I wish I had one camera of day. Umbrella no, Cameron day, as in Kirk Cameron okay, day. Remember. My hero. Mike Brown is certainly the hero of many a putt. Nice putt footage quality. Is ESPN embedded with the putt putt tour? By winning the 1996 putt putt. Is that his mini golf caddy? I recommend a putter on this hole. Great thrill to win the national championship. That was my goal in coming here. Uh, playing. Why does it look like it physically hurts him every time he says a word? It's going to be a thrill. He's a putter, not a talker. Looking forward to it, and I'm just going to do the best I can. Now we're at the fourth hole. It's worth $500. Mike Brown's up first. Mike is going to bank this off the left rail. Try to go straight in the front door. Straight in the front door? Judy. Yeah, checked up a little bit it's short. It's putt-putt Dennis Eckersley. Danny Dore. No uh, Dennis, would you mind getting off my foot? Bob Hayslip now steps up. He's going to play a slightly different shot once again. Freeze it. Now, what's up with that dude? I mean, look at him. He's wearing a hat. Then over that, he's got a towel. Then over that, he's got an umbrella. How much protection from the sun do you need, dude? Yeah, it's not even that sunny out. If you're going to go with the three-layer approach, just stay inside, dude. He's going to play this one straight. A lot of practice. Straight putt. Yeah. Well, we nice made it. Putt, Great shot. It's got to be the horseshoes. Well, Mike's rooting for Lewis to make this one. Who the hell are you, Miss Cleo, the psychic golf announcer? Just shut up and let him miss it. Lewis is going to play this one straight also. But not narrow. Oh, it's short, Judy. It's oh, short. There are several medical options available for that these days, Jay. We're through four holes of golf, and our PPA national champion, Mike Brown, is on top. The legend of putt-putt golf began in 1954 when businessman Don Clay Matt Locke. the first putt-putt course in Fayette. Oh, great. A history lesson. He saw the explosive growth of putt-putt golf. Did Ken Burns direct this thing? Putters Association. The 70s were highlighted by the great husband and wife team of Dick and Evelyn Florin. And I have a Dick and Evelyn Florin pillowcase. By Kim Taylor and our very own Judy Ward. Judy. Who would have thought that the entire 45-year history of the PPA could be condensed into a tiny 30-second piece? Miss it. Ha! <laughs> Makes sense, though, Jay, because the company that produced that putt-putt retrospective also did a piece on the history of track and field. Check it out. We'll be right back. Miss it. Yeah. Yeah. Organized track and field events began with the Greek Olympiads nearly 3,000 years ago. In 1896, hurdles were introduced. Then Ben Johnson was stripped of his gold medal for being on the juice. Today, track and field is dominated by the husband and wife team of Dick and Evelyn Flawn. Welcome back to the Putt-Putt Championships from 1996. Now, miniature golf may seem like a fun and innocent game, but in recent years, the sport has been mired in controversy. There was the oversized putter scandal of 99, hazing incidents at the mini golf mini camps in 2001. But no scandal was worse than when the U.S. mini golf team trashed their hotel room at the Olympic Village in Seoul in 1988. Predictably, the area hardest hit, the mini bar. Nini. Yeah! Bob Hayslip's up first. Freeze it. If you spent any time around the putt-putt circuit, you'll recognize this guy, weird man with clipboard, a tour staple. Some people call it mini golf. I call it putt-putt. Mm -hmm. He got it there. Backing up Tolly into a tree. Don't take that from him, Tolly. You rat tail him right on the horseshoe. Mike Brown still leads with $1,500. Lewis Burton making his presence felt. So it's still anyone's game. 
except Lewis Burton's. Hey, now, come on, that's Lewis not fair, like this okay? Right this guy is in the putt-putt championship. He obviously has some skills and, oh, God, it's awful! It's a freaking putt-putt! A six-year-old girl with an eye patch could have made that shot. Now, Mike Brown's up next. As you see, Burton going down, going down. Very unhappy with that. He thought he had that one. It's putt-putt. How do you not think you have every one? Off the right rail and try to sneak it in the back door. So he's not playing it straight this time. No, you idiot. Put the ball in the middle of the mat. What are you doing putting it over there? Are you mad? Looks like a good shot. Nailed it. Great shot. This guy's taking the tournament in a pair of topsiders. Hazlip now has to make this putt to force a carryover. Otherwise, the money is all Mike Brown's. Whoa, Sergio, just put the damn thing. Lewis is back there begging for Bob to knock this one in. If they didn't have all these aerial shots, maybe they could give away some more prize money. Good hard good, putt. Good firm shot. He did it, Judy. In the lip. Damn gallstones. Have you been working out? Don't touch my chest. Leading off the tenth will be Brown, then Hayslip and Burton. Brown trying to be Somebody get this guy a longer putter. Put the pressure on the other two. No, 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 no. Looks good. Awful. Just off to the right. Should have been more aggressive. Mike a little disappointed with that. He put it in very firm. Thought he had it. Camera, 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 camera. Look out! Here comes Hazlip. Hazlip has been putting outside. I guess there's no dress code outside the fence. The heat has not affected him one bit. Why should the heat affect him? He takes one stinking shot, picks up the ball, and then moves to the next tee, which is three feet away. He did it, Great Judy. Shot. I reckon that's Boy, a good putt. Right mm -hmm. Call me lucky. Yeah, Larry, you heard him there. Call me lucky. That's <laughs> right. I'd rather be lucky than good. And I'd rather be Mike Jorgensen than Jay Johnstone. I'd rather be Paula Poundstone than Jay Johnstone. Burton. Or Bob will win $3,000. Oh, look at that. He just lipped it again, Judy. Awkward high five with Tony LaRusso. Hazlip takes the lead with a. Three. Now I'll never get that mini caddy scholarship. Let's go back to the guy with the clipboard. Now he was seen throughout that last segment hovering around the action. Now, don't ask me how, but I was able to obtain the top sheet off his clipboard from that very day. Would you like to see it? Would I? Whoa, you grabbed the clipboard too. Yeah, well, I was just grabbing. And then there was a scuffle, so I thought I'd sort it out later. You want to hear it? Yeah. Okay. Dear Louise, still in Orlando trying to figure things out. Should have never let you go on that yoga retreat by yourself. Damn that Raj Nish Mandeville. He's one limber son of a bitch. The point is, I love you, I think. And yet, you're not as certain about me. I burped this morning and almost threw up and I thought of you. By the time you read this, I'll probably be dead or standing in the gallery of another putt-putt championship, which is pretty much the same thing in my book. In 1930, the mini golf craze swept through New York City as courses were set up on the rooftops of office buildings. Do you care that Myrtle Beach, South Carolina has been dubbed the miniature golf capital of the world? Do you care that there have been two perfect rounds in Professional Putters Association history? That's 18 holes in one. And rumor has it that those two perfect scores were turned in by the husband and wife team of Mini Me and Mini Pearl. Welcome back to the Putt-Putt Golf Championship. We're now at the 16th hole. It's worth $3,000 after five 16th carries. hole, and this many people are still in the gallery? Yeah, they all work for ESPN, Rand. Yes, it is. Mike would really like to get this one to fall to increase his money winnings. Great shot. And I'd like to get Judy a grammar coach so she can increase her English speakings. And Lewis Burton. Bob's going to hit a straight putt on this one, too. He's been you mean he's not going to go through the side door here? He's had eight in a row. Okay, is the gallery standing too close? Yeah, this guy's so close, he's inside Hazlip's mind. Like a good shot. Great putt. 
Number nine in a row. That's nine aces in a row for Bob Nine aces Hazen. in a row. Who is this guy, Chris Moneymaker? Tie all tie. So now we go to the next hole, and Bob Hazlip is still in if the If I'm Burton, I'm already at the go-karts at this point. Nah, the way his day's going, he'd probably crash his cart into a tire and explode. Worth $3,500. Hazlip will We knew a kid in high school who had a Hazlip. It was so sad. Right through the opening. He's going to be aggressive once again. Try to Did Judy's ahead. accent just get more southern between holes? Does he have a tenth one? He looks close. Looks left. Oh. He's no oh, Dick Florin, that's for sure. Even Evelyn would have sunk that. I guess you're allowed to miss one, huh, Judy? I think that he's okay with missing that one. <laughs> Although he would like to have Yeah, a like that leaf's going to make a difference. You haven't made a putt all day. Lewis is going to play the same type shot straight through the opening. I wonder if Jay really meant it when he said I was his hero. Watching on. It's still very hot out here today. I'm just going to let that distracting helicopter get right overhead, take his and time. then I'll hit it. Knows this putt really counts. Get right Looks hard. left. Oh, it just hit the corner. He really pulled that one. Yeah, good thing he picked up that I leaf, dude. He, you just have to be slightly off of your mark that you're aiming at. Well, here's Mike Brown. He has a chance to pick up $3,500 if he aces this hole. Mike's really aggressive. I think he has a great chance at aggressive. making Aggressive? What is he doing that's so aggressive? Looks Putting really the ball without its permission? It's in! Great shot. So Mike Brown jumps into the lead with five. Actually, Jay, he just won. Can we go home now? This kid can All right. really cut you. When we come back, the exciting conclusion of Putt Putt, where the champion walks away with the coveted green dickey. It's a tradition as rich in history as the master's jacket. Only smaller, cheaper, and yet somehow more American? All right, we'll be back right after this for all the money. Oh! Hey, welcome back to the exciting conclusion of Putt Putt here on Cheap Seats. Now, you may have noticed that the field of three finalists contain no women, and that's not uncommon. That's right, Jay, but the times are changing in the world of mini golf, and women are starting to fight for their mini do. Take a look. Babe Diedrichson, Billie Jean King, Jackie Joyner Kersey, sports pioneers who paved the way for millions of little girls. But not all the doors have been opened. Oh, the Family Fun Center? It's fun for the whole family if you want to come out and play some good old fashioned miniature golf, as long as the dad's here. If not, the daughter cannot come in. Because each miniature golf course is privately owned, the National Institute of Putt-Putt Legends and Educators has no real authority to delegate rules to club owners. But that didn't stop Alice Karp. It's not about the game. I mean, who cares about miniature golf? A lot of business gets done on the course. And I mean, who knows how many cake sales I've missed because of Steamer's rule. This is not my car. I wrote him a letter, which he did not respond to. And so that's when I contacted the ACLU, who I had already met with regarding a bunt cake that I had to take out of a window. It's a long story. Uh, anyway, the ACLU was, again, very helpful, as was now. They can bring NOW, NWA, ACLU, WWKRP in Cincinnati. I don't care. I will not be bullied, and I will not be intimidated on letting a woman play on this course by herself. Men need a place to be men. You know, and women have everything else. They got knitting clubs. Tear down this candy cane fence because I am here to play some mini golf. Yoga booty ballet. Oh, excuse Gravity. me. Excuse me, Mr. Rights America. Rights as an American business owner? You're being very racist. WNBA. Go back to Cleveland, steamer. All right, I want Go you out of here Cleveland. right now. I mean, what more do they want? OK, OK. You win this round, steamer, but I'll be back. Don't come back. OK, you're going the wrong way. It, what? It's, well, you're going the wrong way. Out is that way. The exit's this way? Yeah, exit's that way. Go that way. Fine. No, not that far. No, what? just just go straight, but then you take a right. Go straight where? Go straight back there, and then you take a right. This a way? soft right. Yes. Soft yeah, right? Yeah, you're going. That's the right okay. way. Okay. Thank you. Get out of here. No, not there. That's not the exit. It's the other door, right there. These are locked. Is it locked? Jimmy! Jimmy! Look, here's the deal. A family fun center where women are not allowed unless accompanied by their father or husbands. Now, what's so wrong with that? I suppose if I didn't sell 
adult themed cakes for a living, they would take me more seriously. But every night I still have this dream. Steamer Newsome hands me a putter and says, have a great game, Alice. And we all celebrate with a chocolate cake shaped like a Alice Carp, dreamer, fighter, pioneer. This isn't my car. I drive a red Subaru. I'm telling you, it's many struggles like this one that remind us of how far we still need to go. Let's get back to the action. Life through the eyes of a stalker. Welcome back, everybody, to my favorite. Howard Dean over Johnstone's right shoulder. The prize money to today's winner. The guy behind Johnstone looks like he wants to kill him. Which one? But also, some of the putt putt franchisees that represent the 300 plus franchises all over the world. And handing out today's second place prize money is the president of putt putt golf, Bobby Owens. Thank you, Jay. It's my honor to give to Bob Hayslip a check for $3,500 for a performance out there that was. Stunning. Thank you very much. Uh, this is really not that fun for me. No. I really have no fun. And handing out first place prize money is Brian Lowers from Orange Lakes. Brian? Thank God he wore his orange shirt. Half of Orange Lake Resort and Country Club, Putt Putt Golf Courses of America. I'm pleased to present you with this trophy. Sweet mini trophy. And, and that's a mini oversized novelty check. It's not as big as regular oversized novelty checks, which somehow makes it more demeaning. You know, is Jay going to have a special nice talk with nice Mike? Trophy, but you started out when you were a little kid playing Putt Putt Golf. Yeah, I did. I was about 11 or 12 years old when I first started to play. Where was that? At the Philadelphia Pop Pot. I'd go there. And who used to play baseball back in Philadelphia back then? Oh, right, that was me. That was me who played for the Phillies. Remember when you were in my fan club? Remember? Remember? Nice check. A lot of fun out here. It's been a great week. See, folks, not only can you bring your family and friends out here and have fun at all the putt putt courses across the country, but also if you practice long and hard enough, you might win one of these checks. We'll Which should next. just about cover the amount of money you spend to practice long and hard to get there. Well, it's time to hand out our version of the giant novelty check, the cheapies. Cheapies. Cheapie for least valuable play is this. Lewis Burton's course manicure before missing yet another shot. Cheapie for least valuable player goes to Hazlip for sucking the fun out of putt-putt. He may be a mini golfer, but folks, he's a major downer. And the cheapie for most valuable marriage goes to, you guessed it, Dick and Evelyn Florn. You know, we have an old saying around the tape library here, the couple that putts together, <laughs> together. See you next time on Cheap Seats. All right, dude, putt it up. Is Van Pelt's desk in? No, it's OB. OB, just putt it. Good form, good follow through.